everybody. Tonight's bedtime story is going to be the world famous Cheese Shop Break In by Sean Taylor and Hannah Shaw. Let's get started. There it was, between the green grocers and the underwear boutique, the Cheese Shop. It was stuffed full of cheese, stinkier than old socks. The smell was yummy in our tummies. And Daddy Pop said just what I knew he was going to. We are about to carry out the world famous cheese shop break in. How? asked my sister Shanice. Easy as one, two, three, said Daddy Pops. All we have to do is look natural and walk in the front door. Then that fancy pants cheese will be ours. But it didn't work. The next idea Daddy Pops had was to make a catapult and fire me in through the window. But that didn't work either. Oh dear, said Daddy Pops. The truth was our dad's plans for getting cheese never worked. Shanice looked at him and said, it maybe might be easier just to learn how to make cheese yourself. I nodded. Then you could open a fancy cheese shop called Fancy Pants Cheese for Rats. Daddy Pops thought about it, but after a moment, his eyes lit up like he'd had the brainwave of the century. Rats aren't made for opening shops, he said. Rats are good at digging. We'll get in there by making a tunnel. Next thing, he got a pickaxe and a shovel and a bucket, and we were digging away. Easy as pie, grinned Daddy Pops. You don't know how lucky you are to have a father who's clever like me. But actually, it didn't turn out to be easy as pie. Shanice wanted to stop because she said the tunnel was dark and dirty and there were probably worms. Daddy Pops told her not to make a silly fuss. But after that, a worm fell in his ear and he made a silly fuss himself. Then we got to a very big stone. Daddy Pops managed to dig it out. But he also tripped over the shovel and dropped the stone on his foot and stuck the pickaxe through the water pipe. And after that, we were digging up to our armpits in cold water. Oh, I feel like a drowned rat, said Shanice. Hard cheese, chuckled Daddy Pops. It'll be worth it when we get in there, you'll see. So we kept shoveling and shifting earth until suddenly I could see there were floorboards up above us. Oh, leave this to me, said Daddy Pops. Then he pushed up a floorboard and called out, we're in. But something was wrong. It wasn't the cheese shop. We were in the underwear boutique. All around us were pants, bras, and socks. Oh dear, said Daddy Pops. I said, we were probably right. You should give up trying to steal cheese and learn how to make it. Then you could open your own shop. And Daddy Pops took us by surprise. He looked around and he nodded. Then he said, you know what? I think I will open my own shop. And he did. It wasn't the sort of shop we were expecting, but it's turned out to be a big success. So now we can afford to have cheese stinkier than old socks every day for breakfast. Well, they may not have gotten into the cheese shop, but they certainly did find something worth trying that hard for. I hope you enjoyed that show, and we will see you next time for another bedtime story. Have a good night. Night-night.